Hello ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how you can use SSH on your Android device. My name is Michael in case you don't know and you're welcome to my channel if you're a new visitor. If you are a returning visitor, you're welcome back. Okay, if you get to this video then there's every tendency that you already know what SSH is all about. Probably you're looking for how you can use it on your mobile phone. Uh, maybe you have been using SSH on your on your PC, but you want to always be connected to your uh, to your to your remote server, and so you want to connect it on your Android device. Now, the good news is you can always use SSH commands on your Android device, and stick to me, stick with me on this video to see how. But if you are if you don't know what SSH is all about, please make sure you don't skip any part of this video. So what is SSH? SSH simply means secure shell or secure socket shell. It is actually a it is actually a, a protocol that allows you to securely connect to a remote server over an unsecure network. Okay. So with SSH, you can actually share files from your PC to a remote server. It kind of replaces uh, the Kind of replaces the the FTP that we all know about. We know about FileZilla. Maybe you've heard about Core FTP. These are FTP programs that you can actually use to remote to to, to share files from your local PC to a server. So now let us now you know what SSH is all about. With SSH, you can log into your remote server. That is, do perform remote login and you can actually execute remote commands on your server. Okay, so without any further ado, let us see how we can set SSH up on our Android device. First of all, you're going to install an application called Jute SSH. So I have already installed it, just visit your Play Store. I'm going to be placing the link also in the description below this video. So visit your Play Store, install Jute SSH. Then when that is done, open the Jute SSH. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to be making use of the sandbox system that has been provided for me on the ALX program, on the ALX intranet. And I'm going to show you how you can connect to that intranet using this method. Okay. Now, this method might be very okay for you if you're using your mobile phone to do the program because I noticed uh, some students don't actually have the ability to access the web terminal provided on their mobile phone but if you're on the pc you are good to go with the web terminal but if you are using an android phone then stick with this video because we are going to see how you can connect the web terminal from the sandbox to this ssh and be able to execute every command that is required of you in order to pass your project so first of all what we need to do is click on quick connect so when you hit quick connect it should pop up something So now it says enter the username and the and the host name. All right. So what I'm going to do, I will move into. I'm going to move into the the intranet, of course. So where is my intranet? Okay. So I'm going to move into the intranet. Let me open up the intranet. Okay. So this is actually the project, the shell project. So from I've already done this project already, but just showing you how you can uh, work. So when you click on this get sandbox, this comes up, and you can see your credentials here, right? That is the SSH credentials. So you can just copy, click and hold to copy the username, come back to your SSH, and paste it. Okay, then type the at command the at symbol go back again copy the host click and hold copy the host come back again and paste the host so once you paste this hit ok so it will try to establish connection and it's asking you this question you click on accept okay so it's trying to connect now it's asking for the password so what you do now is you come to this place you copy your password and you go back again and you paste the password 
now you are going to hit OK. You can decide to remember this password in case you're coming back next time. Or you can show the password. I don't want to show it in this video. So click OK. And this has gone. Uh, not now. OK. So I'm already here. And this is what it's telling me. It's telling me the font size and the rest of the code. This is the first time I'm opening this particular application now. So just hit OK. Got it. And you can see right now I am right inside the SSH. Okay. If you don't know what those commands are, there is a command, an Ubuntu command that says um, to show the list of files and folders that exist within a path or to know the working directory where you are. Now, if I say PWD, which means print working directory, in case you don't know what print working directory is, a directory is just like a folder on your Windows PC or a folder on your phone. Imagine when you are using your phone and you access your file manager. When you open the file manager on your mobile phone, you find out that we have different uh, folders like the music, the audio, the videos, and the rest of them. When you, visit, when you enter into the audio, uh, the audio folder, you see a list of all the music files that is that's existing there. At that point, you are the working directory. At that point, is the audio which is the file manager slash the audio, as the case may be. And you can be able to access every files within that place. So in this place, when you say print working directory, that is PWD, and hit enter, you are going to see that, uh, you are going to see that we have the print, the working directory here is actually just the backward slash. So, and if I say LS, which is lists all the files and folders available in this path or in this directory, and I hit enter, so you can see that we have been, we have dev, we have home, we have every, every we have SLV, we have temp, we have the boot, and we also have root. Okay, we also have root. So this time, what we are going to do is simple. I'm going to start working on this project. So now I have connected to my sandbox on this particular LX intranet. So what I'm going to do is the first tag here creates me says access your sandbox and change your working directory to root so to change your working directory the command that you're going to make use of is what we call the cd which simply means change directory so i'll say cd and then i'm going to use slash root root because the slash here is kind of the beginning of where uh the application starts so slash root inside the uh, Inside this part that I am in now, there's a root directory. So I hit enter. And that is going to take me into the root directory. So let me press hit enter here. So you can see that I am inside the root. If you want to be sure that you are in the root directory, just simply type PWD to print the working directory. When you hit enter again, you can see that the working directory is now slash root. Good and fine. And then they said something that you should copy the file school to temp now at this point i might not be able to do all of this because i have already completed this task and it's obvious that that particular file is no longer existing in this my sandbox okay if you want to find out how i let me just say ls when i print ls and hit enter you are going to see that um hit ls and hit enter you are going to see a list of files that I have inside this my sandbox currently so you see that I only have new school and I have school and I have school is amazing and so cool this shows that I have completed every task that is here because they said I should move into this place and I should create an empty file called so cool so I've already created that file and that's why you can see so cool one thing you to note about here is that files are in white color while uh, directories or folders are in blue color okay and like i said in the other video where i explained how this task was actually accomplished i explained that linux does not care about the file extension so you can actually name a file without giving it any extension unlike the way it is on your windows pc where you must put an extension like .txt or .jpg or .whatever in Linux command, it's not like that. So this is how you can access your intranet or using the uh, your Android phone. 
So if you really want to um, view the video, if you want to see the video where I explain every command that it comes with Linux, uh, every command that you need to execute this project, kindly uh, check the description below and you will be good to go. Uh, the links of to that previous video is actually embedded in the description. Thank you for sticking to this video. Thank you. Thank you for watching. See you next time.